And hello again, stream. I'm back. How's it going? Is that tweet? Is that the tweet? Oh, thank you, uh, Kyra, for the uh, shout out before. But I had to go play a match. I had to go play against uh, Baron, and then I had to play against Garbage. But I am back. By the way, tweet just to throw this out there. Uh, I'm gonna shed a little bit of light on it. <laughs> Ling Ling was just messing with me. But um, anyway, so we're gonna go to game three here. Uh, we got. 1-1 one, one, uh, situation. Both of these guys actually played each other a lot. I say it happens a lot around here with 30-minute brackets on a regular, but these two normally run into each other on winter side. And uh, pretty sure it's about like 50-50 with a little bit favoring towards TRL of late. And, uh, but it's a pretty even game at the moment. Not, not going to be any punish on that. Uh... <laughs> Alright, cool. I didn't want you to think that. But uh, the TRL actually, uh, like, as I looked away for a second, took the lead. A pretty decent stage uh, for him at the most part, but I know that D actually likes his stage a lot. Not even like beyond the whole market ability thing, like this is just a pretty good stage for him. Smart on TRL the downer there to not get cooked by the banana and get punished on the secondary combo. And rolling out of the side B there, that's pretty smart. I bet it's not going to do it yet. It's Battlefield, but you know, even at that, on a regular stage, probably won't do it yet. Yeah, Tweet, that's my roommate. Like, I, I know how he gets, he likes to fool around a lot. What's he gonna do about this get up coverage here? Oh wow, actually baits him into the jump, but uh, he fell out of forward smash. That should have been a stock, but good thing for on D for avoiding that. And Tyrell needs to eliminate this soon because Rage uh, F smash or actually pretty much any aerial near the ledge right now is gonna steal that stock. Again, going for ledge option coverage, and he goes for the up tilt this time. It actually takes it. Yes, Kairos, I will be here. I probably won't have any cupcakes because I'm trying to get toned and buff, and I need to stop eating that stuff. But I will definitely be here. Well, I do not miss out on birthday party opportunities. And you're a part of the family, so you know that. Nice combo that luckily for D didn't get uh, bounced there. He would have taken a lot more. But even at that, DRL still adding on. So, uh, avoids uh, the follow-up, but still ended up getting 61% uh, out of it. It's looking pretty good. Oh, but he's getting up he right into him, but he doesn't get the stock taken away for it. And D's in a pretty bad spot. He needs to seal the stock like, ASAP. I think for a lower recovery, but TRL saw that coming, so he opted to go to center stage. Very smart on his part. Down tilt to F smash is going to miss, but now at this point, if uh, you catch him with a rogue smash attack, or even soon, an up tilt, that's going to be it for D's uh, winner record run. No tipper, unfortunately, that's not going to take that stock. Let's see what he does. Again, that's the third time he just left Banana on ledge and baited him into a jump, and he caught him for the final stock of the match. 
That was smart stuff on JRL's part. Good stuff. Tiro as a whole, like just on his ledge shop options in his uh, neutral game, have been leveling up at a very good pace. Like just the fact that he baited him into that option multiple times, like D didn't recognize it. And I feel like even if he decided to go for a different option, he was waiting for it. I will be back. I have to go play against D.